In a prior video, I illustrated how the Mavic 3 when flying over snow will increase in altitude without user input. This occurs when in bypass mode and it does not occur when you're in brake mode or when you have obstacle avoidance disabled. Also, this does not occur when the DJI Mavic 2 is flown at the same location. After the break, we're going to find out whether the January of 2022 firmware update from DJI has resolved this behavior. my Mavic 3 back in December of 2021 when it was moving forward without user input it was increasing in altitude and I wanted to see with the new firmware that came out in February of 2022 if the same issue would persist. This is an issue that I saw on the Mavic 3 but when I fly my Mavic 2 at the same location it does not exhibit the issue when flying over snow. So here's the version from December of 2021 testing to the January of 2022 test. So after updating my Mavic 3, I drove my Dodge Challenger out to my local park and started doing some test flights. So here we're in bypass mode. And we're starting at 51 feet. And as you can see immediately, we know that there is still an issue as I move forward on the stick. I am gaining in altitude, even though I'm not telling the Mavic 3 to increase its altitude. So that is the same issue as before. Now this is pretty dramatic. I started at 51 feet. It elevated to 222 feet. So this run, I decided to put it in brake mode. Before, when I put it in brake mode, I didn't see any issue with an altitude increase for the most part. There might be a one foot, two foot variance there perhaps. So when flying over this AMA field in brake mode, it was pretty much an even flight in this scenario. All right, so here we're brake mode going the other direction. It doesn't necessarily show up on video, but when I was flying, it seemed brake mode was a little bit weird. There was like a weird movement in the, the Mavic 3 or just the flight felt a little bit odd to me. Like perhaps it was seeing snow or doing some sort of braking during the flight. It doesn't look so bad in the video though, but at the time it seemed weird. So here we have the obstacle avoidance off just to see what that was like. And then immediately when flying obstacle avoidance off, I felt like I had full control over the Mavic 3 finally. So here I put it back into bypass mode. Once again, just to double check to see going the other direction if I have an increase of altitude and then sure enough it is increasing in altitude but not as dramatic as the prior bypass mode test run. So here we started at 58 feet and ended up at 69 feet. And here we're in bypass mode again. This time I decided let's go up to 100 feet and see if there's a difference in outcome. And at this elevation it is holding 100 feet all the way across. So in the earlier run where we started out closer to the ground, it went all the way up to almost 200 feet or around 200 feet. So here when I started at 100 feet, it maintained its altitude the entire time. And one more run in bypass mode. Again, starting at 99 feet, moving a little bit up to 100, 102 feet. In some of my prior videos where I did a test runs, I noticed that a lot of times it will elevate just a little bit or gain in altitude a little bit and then kind of plateau out. So here it ended up at 99 feet. And then I went at a lower altitude starting at 42 feet just to see if we saw the same outcome as before. And here we can see as we're approaching the trees, it does start to increase the altitude. But maybe it thought I was going to fly into those trees. So maybe it's doing it because of the trees at the end of the runway. 
So unfortunately, the January of 2022 firmware release for the DJI Mavic 3 has not resolved the issue where the Mavic 3 increases its altitude when flying in the various directions without the user wanting it to increase in altitude. So the workarounds still remain. You can put it in brake mode or you can put it in obstacle avoidance off and manually fly the Mavic 3 for the ultimate control. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already. Thank you for watching the video.